who is Archangel Shamuel and how can you not only learn more about him, but connect on a very deep level with him. This beautiful Archangel is the focus of today's Archangel series and Lisa and I are excited to share this wonderful, gorgeous being with you. Angel Heart Radio programs should not be used to replace your legal or medical advice. Welcome everyone to Angel Heart Radio. You are our focus. We want you to know that you matter in the world and that you're important to the world. We're here to remind you of just how valuable and needed you are right now. Help us to help others. If you like what you hear, tell your friends, post, tweet, pin, let everyone know how amazing Angel Heart Radio is. So again, welcome to Angel Heart Radio. Powered by love, Angel Heart Radio is sponsored by angellight777.com. Hello and welcome everyone. Yay, Lisa, we're here. (laughs) So excited to be here with Archangel Shamuel for everyone. (laughs) Shamuel is God, he has to be, not that I have favourites, but one of my favourites are Archangels, Lisa. I'm sorry? I said Shamuel has got to be one of my absolute favourite archangels. Not that I've got favourites, but you know what I mean, one (laughs) of my favourite archangels that I work with. Yeah, absolutely. He's absolutely a beautiful energy. Mm. So before we get into the show and our introductions, I would just like to let everybody know what we've got coming up on Angel Heart Radio in the next week or so. We've got uh, next week, it's uh, Annette McCoy has the wonderful astrologer, Janet Hickox. Oh my gosh, she gives like the best human design astrology readings ever and if anyone would like a reading with her simply call into the show you'll find it on our um no, keep calling it archangelradio.com angelheartradio.com uh that's tuesday in the states wednesday here in australia and new zealand um and just have your birth date your birth time and your name ready for her and then the next day we've got living your best years well after the halfway mark with the um, wonderful United Intentions Radio. Then we've got uh, Surrender to the Angels. Now, actually, we're talking about, Lisa and I were having a chat today about maybe doing the last Archangels each week instead of the Angel Life Hour. Um, But we'll let you know about that. But we do have Surrender to the Angels. What does that mean and how do I do it? Uh, And Lisa, you've got something pretty special coming up for Halloween on Angel Heart Radio. Do you want to tell us about that? Yes, it's um I've had as I was just saying to Anara, I've had a pretty up and down and amazing couple of weeks. Some things have transpired for me. So for Halloween I am planning to hold a bumper readings show, an hour ninety minutes of um live card readings on air, but there will be a slight date change because of my developments in the last two weeks. But um we will keep you all updated. It will be posted to the Facebook page. And um, I really hope everyone can join me. Call in for a reading. It's um, my way of celebrating Halloween. Sounds great. And people love, love, love being able to get a really, like, top quality reading um, on air. I know people love that. When we have readings on the show, we get that constant feedback that people so appreciate it, Lisa. So that's brilliant. We'll keep you informed about what the date for that is going to be. And I've got something pretty exciting coming up as well. I've got Tim Ray from United Intentions Radio as my guest uh, in early November. And then we've got Archangel Azrael as the next Archangel. Though, as I said, we may start doing them each week at this time. And we've got someone on the phone. Yay. Hello, area code 203. We'll talk to you shortly. Okay, I'm Anaya Joy Halili. You all know who I am. You know my website is angellight777.com and you all know I'm always excited to be here with you. Lisa? Namaste. I'm Lisa Ellis, Angel Specialist and Intuitive. I'm a registered Diana Cooper Foundation Angel Teacher, a registered Karuna Reiki Master Teacher and a certified Theta Healer. I'm also co-host of the Angel Heart Radio Show's Angel Life and, of course, the Archangel series. You can find out more about me and my work at www.feathersofanangel.com. 
perfect. Today it's Archangel Shamuel, and oh my gosh, I think, I mean, we've got Michael Raphael. I'm thinking of all the angels that I connect with, the archangels on a really um, regular, regular basis. Shamuel is one of those angels. I reckon I'm connecting with Shamuel every other day, to be quite honest, because he helps with so many things. And he's one of those archangels, Lisa, that I've got this really heart connection with. Um, he's very powerful and, and I've got some great stories to share today about how he's helped me in the past. Um, do you have any stories about Shamuel that you might share a bit later in the show? Um, I have connected quite deeply with Shamuel um, at different times on my spiritual journey. And um, a few years ago, I prepared a meditation to, for so people could connect to him. Um, if anyone would like a copy of that meditation, it's a free gift, no no charge. Just email me at hello at lisaellis.com. It's called Love and Light with Archangel Shamuel. So, um, yes, I have connected with Shamuel quite deeply. It's his beautiful, gentle, yet powerful and strong energy. He's very strong but very gentle. It's just the most incredible energy when you do mm. connect with him. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a great way for me. I feel that too. He's he's like a band of steel wrapped in gentle feathers or something. He's very Cotton strong wool. but very yeah. gentle. <laughs> <laughs> something really super soft and lovely. Now, Shamuel yeah. has many, many functions. And, and really all the archangels and all the angels do. They're multidirectional beings. They don't have the limitations that we experience here on earth and yet it can be very easy for us Lisa to forget that they are there for us 24 7 can't it well it is easy to forget and it's um I've had several people many people say this to me over the years it's just like oh I just forget to call on the angels or I forget to do this or that they are there 24 7 loving you, just waiting for the word for you to give your permission for the, to act on for them to act on your behalf, you know, through a prayer or a request. Um, so I just, part of what Shamuel means to me, it's that gentle, loving energy of forgiveness and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Okay, the angels are there. Maybe you, sometimes you do forget. Don't be hard on yourself for that. Don't think, oh, why did I forget? I'm so silly. It's just like they're there, they're waiting, they will always be there. When you when you do recall and give your permission, they will act on your behalf. And so it's all about forgiveness, kindness, love and compassion, which is what really, in a nutshell, Shamuel means to me. Mm. Yeah, it's it's been such a great journey for me, Lisa, connecting with the angels and archangels. And one of the things I guess for me with Shamuel is he has he serves multi functions for me. Um, his name means he who sees God. So we can see that he can see everything. He knows the order of everything. He has this amazing multi-directional vision and understanding and he also sees the connection between us and everything else and everybody else and everything else. So his power is very, very deep and like all the angels and archangels, particularly archangels, he's very, very wise and really is trustworthy like all the angels, Lisa. We have to really bring that home to people, don't we? The angels are 100% trustworthy. In my opinion, yep. there is no such thing as a fallen angel. I want to make that really clear. You can trust the angels. A, a, a lower vibrational being cannot masquerade as an angel. They simply can't vibrate to that level of light and love. What's your take on that, Lisa? Well, it's it's not something I've explored deeply. Um, I've just always worked with angels, and they have my 100% trust and faith. They will never let you down. They are pure love. They don't have the issues or agendas of the of you know human beings or or even other. Um, spiritual beings which don't vibrate at quite such a high level they don't have they don't have any agenda but pure love they just want to help you so I trust them mm. utterly 
Yeah, me too. Okay, so with Archangel Shamuel, his, as I said, his name means he who sees God. So he's maybe best known for the, I call him the finding angel. Whatever you need to find in your life. Say you've, how many times have you misplaced your keys, Lisa? You know. <laughs> you My glasses, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keys, glasses, wallet, handbag, whatever it is that you're looking for. Wallet. Yourself, whatever it is that you, <laughs> yes, so, yeah, yeah. oh, it can be anything. That book, you know, call on Shamuel because he has this really wonderful way of bringing the information to your attention. Pay attention because it will pop into your mind. And this is a little story I can share with you because it'll illustrate it so well. Many years ago now, I was looking for something in particular and I knew where I put it, Lisa. I knew I'd put it in a certain drawer and I went to the drawer and I couldn't find it. So I took every single item out of the drawer and it wasn't there and I put every single item back in. And I'm calling on Shamuel, Shamuel, you know, where is such and such? And he kept flashing this drawer into my mind. I'm going, Shamuel, I'm telling you, it's not there. I've looked. I've taken everything out. Stop telling me that. Tell me where it is. And this gentle, patient, loving picture just kept popping into my mind of opening that drawer. Such a simple little picture. And in the end, I got quite huffy and sort of said, oh, all right then. And I pulled open the drawer and there it was on top. Now, wow. I know it wasn't there yet. And it wasn't there beforehand. It was there then because we're looking at a whole different way of living when we work with the angels because they do not have the time and space constrictions that we do when we look at something that's made of matter we see matter as a solid thing right it's right there on my desk it can't go anywhere unless I move it or somebody else moves it or it gets knocked off you know and into the bin or something so we have to really begin to understand that we're working in a very different environment, don't we, Lisa? Yes. Um, I also have a, um, a slightly similar story, not exactly the same as that, but a story about at Shamuel. I had lost my keys, um, like you mentioned before, losing your keys. But what the issue was with these keys was it was my keys for my workplace on there too, and they were security oh, keys. Gosh. Oh, and I know. Gosh. If even one of those keys went missing and I had like two hours to, you know, before I had to advise them, hey, my keys are gone. Um, if one of those keys went missing, then every key in the building had to be replaced at my expense. Oh my <laughs> so I was really motivated to find these keys. I tore the house apart. The lady who'd given me a lift home in her car last night, I rang her and she searched her car. I went out on the street and looked up and down in the gutters in case I'd dropped it in the gutter. And then I... I came to myself and I realised what I was doing. I was trying to fix it and take it on my shoulders. I turned it over to Shamuel. I said, Shamuel, I have to have those keys. Help me find them. Where are they? And I was sitting at the kitchen table, stressing, quite frankly, thinking, well, I'm running out of time. What do I do? And then, boom, I just it just was a flash. It came to me. They're in the jacket pocket of my black and white coat. I put them in there last night. And I had been searching for over an hour for these keys and had totally forgotten that. But Shamuel... When I asked him, he just he just came through and it was a flash of inspiration. Mm. Just be willing to, to ask and the answer will come. Yes, and keep an open mind. We've got to keep an open mind because in our um in our you know, fluster sometimes, in our desperation to find things sometimes, we can often, you know, think we've covered all bases, but of course we haven't. And having an archangel such as Shamuel with his ability to see so clearly and to help know where everything is, what the order of life is, the order of energy. So with, with I can't even remember what I was looking for now, but whatever it was, and there it was sitting on top of the drawer that I'd recently emptied. It's a matter of I may not be able to bring, you know, the molecules into a different form to move it from one spot to another or however it is they do it. It's letting go of the need to know, isn't it, Lisa? Sometimes we just have to trust that, you know what, doesn't necessarily have to have anything to do with me. I can't control this. Yeah. I need yeah. to turn this is very relevant. To this is very relevant to our upcoming show. It is about trust and surrender. Um, it's just ask for what you want, what you need, what you desire, 
and then let it go. Turn it over to the angels. Ask, okay, Samuel, I've lost my keys. Where are they? And let it go. The answer will come. Mm. Now, the way to ask for Shamuel's help is as simple as Shamuel, please help. Or Shamuel, thank you for showing me where such and such is, very clearly. Or if you really love the ceremony of prayer, there was one that Doreen Virtue taught me that I really love as well, dearest Shamuel. I know that nothing is ever truly lost in the sight of God. Please show me or tell me where, whatever you're looking for, is. Thank you, Shamuel. That was a prayer that I really love. And over the years, I find I simply say, I need what, you know, such and such. Can you please show me where that is? Thank you. And let yeah. it go. You've got to let it go. If we hang on to it, it becomes extremely difficult, not for them to show us, but for us to feel, know, or hear, or see the information. Lisa, mm. we've got our minds so fixated that it's like too close. And we're stressing. We've got and, on. Yeah. Stressing, upset, yes. you know, we, we can't find our keys and we've got to go, you know. So it's like it's it's not about the angels coming through to us. It's about us perceiving the angels' answer, which is exactly what you say, yeah. Hmm. The other thing that um, Shamuel is wonderful at helping us find is, for want of a, but I don't really like the term, but I don't know another one, it's a soulmate relationship. Um, new relationships, friendships, new jobs. Um, Shamuel has a beautiful way of helping to connect us with people that really are good fits for us at this particular time. That's not to say we're going to, you know, find the person that we're going to spend the rest of our life with in blissful happiness. We're people. We usually don't spend our lives in blissful happiness because we're working through issues with our partners, Lisa. We have to remember that we, our needs change at various times. But Shamuel has this really great way of helping us to connect with people that we can grow and learn and experience and love with. Yes, um, Shamuel being the finding angel, um, like you say, he's, he, can, he can pave the way for that connection to come through. If it's what you genuinely desire... And I think it's very true what you say, just as an aside, about a soulmate relationship and not being perfect bliss because we're human. Um, uh, quite often soulmate relationships can trigger stuff in us because they're a perfect mirror for our issues. So Shamu will bring you um, a wonderful soulmate relationship, but just be aware it, it may not be all peaches and cream and sweetness and light 100% of the time. I like how you say that, Lisa, and it's very true. Um, and it, it's a really good thing to remember that um, it's not always what we want. Sometimes it's what we need. And once we mm. allow that process to unfold, we can still experience a huge amount of love and joy and bliss along the way. It's, but sometimes a soulmate relationship is not about that ideal relationship. A soulmate relationship can be the person, and I'm not talking just romantic relationships here, that person that really triggers us because our souls have contracted to help each other to experience, yeah. explore, and move yeah. through it. Mm. And that's where we can have our biggest growth. It's like it's... It's hard, you know, they're triggering us, we're going through stuff, we've got issues, but it's, that's when we can have our most massive growth is through that type of relationship that's been a contract, um, mm. an agreement to help each other grow. Yes, that's exactly right. Um, yesterday I had Nancy Rines on with me and she was the atheist um, who went to heaven and came back with beautiful wisdom and of course her whole life was changed and she now does amazing work in the world that's nancy rines r-y-n-e-s dot com her net death experience was quite extraordinary um so she was mentioning that yesterday so it's interesting how it's coming up today as well about the what we contract to do before we come in we're not victims here we're not here oh i can't believe this is happening to me again you know, why do things always have to happen to me when we get into that victim mode, which we all do from time to time? It's not getting into it that's the problem. We, we need to experience what we need to and get out and see our power, Lisa. 
work with the angels, call in amazing beings like Archangel Shamuel, who is also considered to be a leader in one of the um, realms of angels, archangels known as the powers. There's a lot of power there for us if we are able to, you know, get to really experience, but get out of it as well. Yes, it's just like um, the angels are... I think it was just so beautifully put the way you put it before is like Shamuel, that gentle loving energy, but there's a band of steel in the centre. He is strong, like all the angels, loving, wise, utterly capable of um fulfilling the you know, the roles that he fills in his multitasking role. But he's he's wrapped in cotton wool, he's wrapped in beautiful pink feathers. There's that gentleness, that softness, that utter love. Mm. Lisa, let's go and have a chat with caller with area code 203. Yep. And then when we come back, we'll bring some more information, some how-tos about working with Shamuel as well and some good information for people as well. Let's check you out. Hello there, area code 203. What's your name? Hello. Area code 203, you with us? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you stepped away from your computer, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, who are we speaking with? My name's Pat. Hey, Pat. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Um, I've got uh, a question. Um, it's it's not specifically to what Samuel does, but I'm a first-time caller. I don't know if you can help me or not, but... I bet we can. Um, oh, good. <laughs> I bet we can, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've had my second appointment with a doctor who sent me for tests um, because he found I have a tumor on my pituitary gland in my brain. And today he talked a little more seriously about um, surgery and um, possible problems hitting the optic nerve and on and on and on, and I sort of kind of assumed that this this thing was not going to grow, although my vision um, seems to have gotten worse in the past couple of months, but that could be some medication. I did have cataract surgery, so I've been sort of struggling with um, having problems from that, too. Anyway, he <clears throat> kind of rattled me a little bit, thinking maybe, I don't know, I was surprised by his seriousness. I was sort of assuming in, in my mind that it, it was not going to grow and not going to um, uh, hit the optic nerve and create problems with that, which would then mean I would need surgery. Mm, okay. So the first thing that comes to me from Shamuel for you, the very first thing that came through was one of the things that Shamuel can do, as we mentioned earlier, is he can see where everything is. So okay. he can see where you need to go with this. You can call upon Shamuel and Raphael together to work with your medical teams. Okay. This is really powerful. So you might just simply call on, um, you can call on all benevolent beings, not just the angels and archangels, because there are many wise and wonderful beings in the, around the, um, the universe that we know and beyond. So that, you know, we've got ascended masters, for example. We've got wonderful wise um, people that were here on earth, ascended masters that are, you know, in heaven working from that realm with us. So the thing is to call on benevolent beings. I call on all benevolent beings to assist me now. Please okay. work with me. And you can re listen to this, so don't worry about, you know, trying to remember it. Um, I request a most benevolent outcome for my doctors understanding the best course of action, for example. Thank you. Okay. Um, I and you can call upon um, them to work with uh, the, particularly Raphael and Shamuel are coming through very strongly for me right now, to work with your doctors for their clear understanding. Shamuel can help them to see exactly what's going on beyond their normal range. I never, ever recommend people to completely discount um, 
um, what's it called? Allopathic medicine? Regular okay. medicine. I, I think we can mm. have everything. I think mm. that we can have everything. We've got wise and wonderful doctors out there. Why not work with them? Make sure you feel connected to your doctor. If you don't, get Shamuel to find you one who you do feel connected to, that you feel safe with and confident with. Um, Raphael can work within the doctor's, and so can Shamuel can work within the doctor's energy field, within his body and brain and okay. understanding to really help you to discover everything that will be of your highest interest. Okay. Lisa? Well, that's wonderful, very practical advice, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. As, a, as um, Raphael came to mind for me too, as well as um, Shamuel. But what I first felt when you started talking and what came to me on a different tack was I think there must be quite a level of totally understandable and completely natural fear, or at, at least obviously a great deal of concern, worry, stress. You know, this situation is, you thought you had a handle on it, you thought, it, you know, your tumour wasn't going to grow, and now you've been advised that surgery may be required. That would set off all sorts of triggers within me, so I can't imagine what you're feeling. What I feel that Shamuel wants to offer you is comfort. A big angel hug. Call on him when you're feeling scared and alone. Ask him to support you. Ask him to surround you and give you a big angel hug. And for you to feel completely safe, protected and loved at all times. Okay. Um, I forgot the reason why I got so down today and, and, and listening to you talk, I remembered... My life has been really, really, really hard, and I'm still struggling to make something out of it. I'm 63. I'm trying to get an art portrait painting business going of animals, and today I, it hit me, oh, my God, is this going to be the next thing? Am I going to lose my eyesight now? Mm. It's just been one difficult thing after another and you know my therapists say I'm the strongest person they've ever met I'm a survivor blah 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 and um this this is I'm I'm trying to get myself back to painting and I just thought oh my god yeah there's someone I'd like to recommend for you um Marnie Perna is a specialist kinesiologist here in Australia, but she works around the world. Now, Marnie is on, I think it's the first or the second Wednesday here in Australia, which will be Tuesday for you on Angel Heart Radio. She's a very practical person as well as a very spiritual person, and she works very well with um, people of having all sorts of things going on, but she also is very, um, she taps in very well with doctors as well. She would be a good person for you, I'm feeling really strongly, for you to reach out to, and at least in a preliminary way. Um, you can, are you on Facebook, Pat? Yes. Okay, Pat. Can you reach out to me on Facebook, at Angel Heart Radio on Facebook, um, either on our page or as a private message, and I'll give you the link that you can connect with Marnie on and just see how you feel about that, whether that feels right to you. Um, the other thing, too, with regards to your um, pituitary gland, um, it's known as the master gland. So it's about looking, for me, getting the angels to help you look at all the areas of your life, particularly areas of control, because, hey, if it was me, I'd probably be feeling exactly the same way about my pain. Isn't it that I just mentioned Nancy Rhines before? She's also an artist. She, she paints horses and dogs and amazing paintings. She's another person for you to connect up with. You'll find her info on our Facebook page. So you've come here today, you've been led here today, and there's all these little channels opening up for you with possibilities for support and to go even further into your healing um, because it's not just about... This is the thing, Lisa. It's not just about our physical healing, is it? Our physical healing is usually the last thing to happen. It's our spiritual and emotional healing that we really need to to know how to how to tap into that. As you say, 
Shemuel. He is known um, to bring peacefulness to replace our energy of pain and fear. Okay. Um, so for me, you've what, come... Yep, go on. Go ahead. So you go, uh, go ahead. ahead. I just no, go ahead, get Pat. the name Manny, is it? Uh, Marnie, M-A-R-N-E-Y. Okay. That's Perna, P-E-R-N-E-R. N, I never know whether it's P E R A M A P A. Is it P E R? Hang on, I'm getting confused. Please That's okay. Me. I'll talk. I'll talk to you on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Marnie Perna, P E R N A. So you, you know, I just feel that you've come today for a very particular reason, and I think that you're really primed to. I just feel like you are really primed to do some really super deep healing. Reach out to me on Facebook and I'll, I'll make sure you get some okay. answers. I will. Uh, okay. And your name again? My name is Anaya, A-N-A-Y-A-H. And you'll find me on Facebook at Angel ha- facebook.com forward slash Angel Heart Radio. Okay. Okay. Mm. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in, Pat. It's really good to speak with you and to be able to help to remind you that you have a hugely supportive spiritual team around you and loving angels, amazing archangels, and ascended masters are with you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, I will remember that. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks, Pat. God bless you too. It's wonderful. It always just touches me so deeply, Lisa, how the angels come out through us. And touch people's lives. Mm. Okay, Archangel Shamuel. The color associated with his aura is often a creamy white, um, but the color most associated with him is pale green. And you know when you get those beautiful springtime, that springtime growth, and the sunlight just comes through it. It's that soft kind of pale green. The crystal or gemstone is fluorite, and the astrological sign associated with Shamuel is Taurus. So if you've got Taurus in your chart, Shamuel is a good one for you. Okay, Lisa. The other thing I would like to say about Shamuel is he's a great career counsellor. Mm, yes. Um, he's really great at helping you find your life purpose. If you think of him as the finding age, he'll, he'll also help you find you know, your reason, your purpose, your, your divine mission. Mm. So for you, Pat, fluorite might be a very, very good um, crystal or gemstone for you to be wearing and holding and make sure you cleanse it regularly. And a simple way to cleanse your crystals, uh, there's a couple of ways. One way I love is I just hold it in front of my heart and I just imagine everything that it's absorbed that needs to be released, like little birds just flying out and then divine love flowing in. Or you can keep... um, um, what's that crystal's name? <laughs> I want to call it cellulite. Cellulite? No, it's not cellulite. <laughs> it's cellulite, not cellulite. No, no, it's not cellulite. It's an orange, but I'll think of it. It keeps all your crystals yeah. cleansed, but maybe cellulite is the one that came, that came through. Um, mm. Yeah, so that, that probably is something really great for you to have at the moment as well. What are we up to? Okay, we are just going to go to a straight station break. And when we come back, I'm going to hand over to you, Lisa, and let you lead off the next mm-hmm. part of the show. We've got still got a lot okay. to talk to you about with uh, regards to Archangel Shamuel, how you can connect. Let's talk about connecting with Shamuel. I know that you've done that gorgeous meditation that you've offered people and they can email you at Feathers of an Angel. Sorry, visit you at feathersofanangel.com to get a hold of that at no charge to them. So um, that is one way that you can assist them, but there are heaps more as well. And I'm rattling because I'm looking for the, for the button to press. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Back soon, everyone. You're listening to another fabulous program on Angel Heart Radio, sponsored by angellight777.com. There is so much more to this magnificent world than meets the eye. You are already connected to your angels. There are messages waiting for you. You are loved. Visit angellight777.com 
follow your intuition and choose one of the three methods to receive the angel's guidance for you. AngelLight777.com The angels have a lot to say to you there. Hi everyone, this is Anaya Joy Halili and I'm here to talk to you about The Gentle Way. Have you discovered The Gentle Way yet? The Gentle Way book Com. Tom Timor is the author of this amazing book, The Gentle Way, a self-help guide for those who believe in angels. But really, I think it's for everyone. TheGentleWayBook.com. Go visit it for yourself and discover the delights and the simplicity of working with The Gentle Way and requesting most benevolent outcomes in your own life to bring about so much peace, so much peace of mind and so much happiness in your heart, you'll love it. So gentlewaybook.com. Awesome book, The Gentle Way. The only thing I would say from a purely personal level is when you're calling on assistance, I would never call any being, just all beings. I would never do that. I would always call benevolent beings, Lisa. How important is it to specify who you want to connect with? Mm. It's about... Um Setting a boundary and having a standard is like you want the best, highest and most suitable help for your divine highest good. So I completely agree. Connecting with benevolent beings is the way to go. Hmm. I know I sort of was going to throw straight to you, but I just wanted to mention that. So it's over to you now. Oh, could I just put in a little bit here for Pat? Pat, if you're still listening, um, I don't know if you know this or not, but I thought I would mention it now. Those wonderful, um, most benevolent outcome prayers that Anaya gave you in in her talk with you, in our talk with you, they have to be said out loud. So do say them out loud, and um, I really wish you all the very best. Oh, good point, Lisa. Very, very good point. We do, we're do. we in a 3D world, most, yeah. Yeah. The most benevolent outcome, you have to say them out loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you tell people why? I'm just trying to think of the book. I have read the book and I absolutely <laughs> okay. loved it. And I can't remember it's why be- the, the reason was. <laughs> it's because we're living in a 3D world and we're asking for 3D solutions. So when we're living in this world, of it's a heavier energy. So when we say it out loud, it takes that energy out of our mind and out of our body and sends it outward where it's just something oh. that, you know, it doesn't mean that it won't work if you think it. But in my opinion, and this is my opinion, it works a lot better. And the angels actually showed me that when we, with our manifesting work, anything you want to manifest, so let's talk about Archangel Shamuel. You want to manifest a new home, a new job, a great doctor, health, wealth, happiness, whatever it is. The angels showed me that when we think about what it is that we want, not what, not that we haven't got it. There's no point sitting there going, oh, I haven't got this and I really want it. Imagine it. It's right here with you now. Imagine that beautiful sense of health, Pat. Imagine those words. You are completely clear. You are 100% healthy. Congratulations. Go live your life. Celebrate. Have a great time. Um, you know, you're with that person that you really want to spend your life with. You're working in that job, living in that home, driving that car, feeling those feelings, whatever it is. They showed me that when we listen, uh, sorry, when we think about what it is we want and then speak the words, thank you, thank you, thank you. It can be any words. Thank you for my fabulous health. Thank you for my gorgeous. Oh, I love, yes, I'd love to go out with you. Oh, yes, thank you very much. That job's just perfect for me. I will take that. And a pay rise? Yes, thank you. You're absolutely right. I'll have that as well. Mm. Put some music on and really speak it out and it sends it out into the ethers and actually changes the vibration of what it is that we want from a heavy, a third dimensional earth-based energy into a much higher frequency where things happen faster. And they happen better than we can actually bring into being in just with ourselves. So when they showed me this, it was it made perfect sense to me, Lisa. Mm. Yes. Yes, completely. So, yeah, so the gentlewaybook.com um, is that book. Tom's written other books that I haven't read, but that particular book, and he's been on Angel Heart Radio, you can check out his shows, um, is absolutely brilliant. 
and I, I do recommend it, and I've used it myself and bought it for friends for a number of years now. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. It's a great book. Okay, Archangel Shamuel is also known as the psychic sleuth, which I love, Lisa. <laughs> and it's exactly what he is. He's a psychic sleuth. He knows how to, how to find what it is we need. Well, I had not heard that about Shamuel. I knew that he was the finding angel, and um, he's helped me many times with finding all sorts of things. Um, one thing I will share, just as, uh, again as an aside, is Shamuel, um, with the support of Anaya in the last few months, um, I asked Shamuel to act as my as my business coach to bring me business to bring me um, people who wanted to work with me to bring me um, abundance in my work and so on and so forth and Anaya had a wonderful flash of Shamuel giving me a briefcase so if it, it's just it's it's just like there's so much that he wants to give us and bring us and all we have to do is ask absolutely true and i would forgotten all about that, Lisa. And isn't it wonderful? Mm. When we yeah, it was a few months ago now. Yeah, it was. But when we pay attention to that, it was just a flash. That was exactly the right way to describe it. That's how Shamuel will often come. When you get that flash, you grab onto it, speak it out, share it, act on it. Because we often feel like, because we're living in a slower time frame here on Earth, that things have got to come in a different way. That briefcase has to land magically at our feet somehow, for example. That flash, mm. pay attention to it, that Shamuel or one of the other archangels or angels or benevolent beings speaking to you. It's up to you to just act on it, which you have done, Lisa, and admirably, I must say. I'm quite, um, you know, I'm, I love you know, just having you in my life and seeing the steps you take. You really are connected and you really do put your your action energy into what the angels, when the angels say something to you, you go with it. Even if you've got no clue how you're going to actually do it or what it's going to lead oh, yes. you to, you, you do it, and you follow little, through. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. But letting go of that need of knowing what the outcome will be and just trusting the guidance I've given was a huge journey for me. It took me a long time to get to that point. But again, relating to that future show, when I learned to surrender to the angels, that's when things started to shift for me. That's going to be a great show to do. Because we I'm that's really what I love about Angel Heart. Yeah. yeah, it's great doing how-to shows on Angel Heart Radio, which is really how I see the Archangels series, how to connect to the Archangels how to connect to Shamuel, how to work with Shamuel in your life on a daily basis. Because esoteric information is so beautiful, but unless we can take action with it, it doesn't necessarily influence us in our choices daily. It's, um, it's, we can improve our lives by applying esoteric knowledge it's wonderful to have but unless you actually take action and do something with it it doesn't really help you in, in your daily life hmm. the other thing i'd so really like to talk about to learn, no go ahead sorry i'm very interested to learn about the psychic sleuthing nature of shamuel now <laughs> <laughs> Well, I often get this great picture of Shamuel, um, you know, it's like, you know, a, you know, a 40 sleuth with these amazing wings and this beautific energy coming from him. And, you know, that's one of my little flashes I get about him. He's got a great sense of humor. I find um, that his sense of humor really connects with me on a very deep level. It's a subtle sense of humor and little things like that that pop into my mind. I know that that's Shamuel reaching out to me because humour is important in my life and humour has kept me sane on many, many occasions in my life. That's one of the ways he connects with me. So, you know, know how, how do you work, people? How, does it, how do you work in your life if humour is a thing for you? Listen, pay attention to when the little humorous notes come along because they'll connect with you that way if you're a very serious person they'll connect with you on a much more serious way because they know us inside and out don't they Lisa they know what makes us mm. tick 
and that's how they'll connect with us. Yes, they certainly, I can speak from personal experience with that, is sometimes when I've needed a boost, the angels have come through with a little flash of a joke or just a a little suggestion of something amusing and it's just like, yeah, your humor, your sense of humor and the humor of the angels has kept me sane at times too. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go from humor now to looking at there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on in the world. Um, but there's a lot, a lot going on and I know it's just from what I'm reading and seeing on Facebook and, you know, that sort of thing, people are really worried at the moment um, Mm. about what's happening in the world and how it's going to affect them, which is obviously we all have that. However, if it's really playing on your mind at the moment, it's really important for you to call on Archangel Shamuel because one of the parts of his purpose, his mission, his joy here helping us on earth is to include the manifestation of universal peace and the way he does that is he helps us on an individual level so you'll come to me in the way that works for me you'll come to lisa in the way that works for her he'll come to you sam and you joe and you carrie on the ways that work best with you he comes to us all in this way So he helps us by helping us to feel more at peace within ourselves, which is a huge impact on the planet's planet's energy, Lisa. Yes, absolutely. It's like um, um, one for all and all for one. We are all one. We're all connected. So it's like a ripple effect. If you affect on an individual level, it affects the greater consciousness as well. Hugely. I don't think we can even begin to understand. And actually, mm. going back to Nancy Ryan's, because she's in my mind today, so I feel like you know, Shamuel's putting her there. Um, when she talked about her life review uh, in, in heaven, she really was explaining how deeply that ripple effect really is. When We've got no clue how deep that ripple effect goes. Uh, and so her book I'd like to mention is Awakenings from the Light, and you can get that. The link's on the Facebook page, nancyrines.com. Brilliant read, actually. I'm loving it because she's coming on the Angel Life Hour with us as well, Lisa, to explain to people about what happened with her. Because she was an atheist. So when she met the angels, it was um, quite interesting for her, I've got to tell you. Yes, I'm really looking forward to that show too. It's like um, that Nancy certainly does sound a very fascinating person. Yeah, well, I've, I've spoken with her twice on air now and she's coming back next week as well. So you'll find the link for that mm. on Angel Heart Radio. Now, I don't know what the show's called as yet, but um, you'll find it. Okay, so Archangel Shamuel, um, coming back to how he will help us by having greater personal peace, which thereby adds to the pool of global and universal peace, it's important to connect and have the willingness to feel that peace. Because if we're saying, oh, no, 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 um, unless I'm really out there fighting for my cause, and hey, that might be how you feel, and that's fine if you do. But there's a different way to fight. We don't have to fight in heavy ways. We can can bring about peace in much more... um, And they seem like gentle ways, Lisa, don't they? But they're so powerful. We can't even begin Mm. to conceive of the power of peace, is what the angels have shown me. Yes, I think it is. um, It might seem quite incomprehensible to a lot of people, actually. Um, Mm. People who have not known peace for a very long time might find that very hard to understand. Now, uh, Archangel Michael is stepping forward now with Shamuel. And I've never really thought about Archangel Michael and Shamuel working together, but they're showing me that they actually do work together. And Michael, as we know, has that 
big, strong, powerful warrior energy with his big sword of light, which he uses to release us from fear and um, the lower energies that we tend to wrap ourselves up in. Shamuel then comes in very gently as well, whereas Michael has that big, strong, powerful energy that we well, I certainly connect to very quickly. Shamuel comes in with just as much power, but it's a different type of energy as well. Because while Michael comes in and says, right, let's clear this energy field now, once and for all. This is him talking right now. Once and for all, and he'll help you with that. Shamuel comes in and says, yes, now that's clear and you've got that beautiful space. Let's fill it with the joy and peace of love. Let's bring in universal peace, personal peace. Let's really work together to encompass this amazing energy. And he's showing me this big ball energy that is pink. And this will be the um, fluorite, I'm sure, because it's green, but it's got this mauvey pink beautiful like these flashes just flicking off it it's amazing and that is for us to then we can reach out with our physical hands right now if we want to and take that energy because he's offering it and bring it and encompass it in your heart space and then take your hands up he's showing me to your third eye pat do this as well darling and encompass it there and then move your hands over the top of your head and bring them down around your shoulders like a cape and then left hand to right shoulder right hand to left shoulder and wrap yourself in that cloak of love oh that's beautiful i just did that and it was wonderful i just feel wonderful i do too i've never seen that before with them it's power and purpose and gentleness yeah it's wonderful And we can wrap Mm. ourselves in that cloak. And I recommend that we do this. Everyone, do it. I'm going to do it. Wrap yourself in that. Do that little simple exercise. In fact, I need to record that. And Mm. then just play it every morning. Wrap yourself in that every morning. Wrap yourself in that every night before you go to bed. Because the more peaceful you are, the more peacefully your body can respond as well. Because when we're stressed, our body um, will respond in ways that show us the stress. Lisa and our minds do too yes it's sort of like um, a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy it's just like um, it well you know if we if we take it on board it's going to manifest um, in our 3d world isn't it unfortunately well it does and it serves a very imp- important and actually I find a very empowering purpose for example my dad is in hospital everyone I haven't spoken about this very much at all I haven't put anything on Facebook or anything like that um, it's just been over a week now he had a couple of strokes uh, and obviously it was scary Lisa we didn't know where the dad was gone we didn't know whether he would recognize us. And I, the, having the angels with me was so important because I didn't want to send out that fear energy and I didn't want to feel it, yet I was, very deeply. Mm. Um, so I got the angels to go before me. Okay, so go before me, please, angels, as I'm walking down the hospital corridor before I see Dad. Go before me so that the energy, that the first thing that greets him is going to be loving, peaceful energy. And he did recognize me, which was awesome. Um, And his memories and everything is still there. He doesn't have any physical signs. It's affected the communication and language part of his brain so that he doesn't have, he can't read or write and at the moment, at the moment, I'll rephrase that. At the moment, he's not able to read or write, but he will learn again. And his speech as well, he can't find the words that he wants to use that are in his brain. And I'm so glad now, Lisa, because if I'd have met my father with a big fear ball, that wouldn't have helped him and it mm. certainly wouldn't have helped me or any, any of the other family no. members. So thank you, angels. Yes. And yesterday, yesterday I was at the hospital. He's got two phrases, two words that he can always count on. He was trying to tell me something and he, he, he just, you could see the words were in his brain. You couldn't get them out of his mouth. And he always just goes, oh, bugger it. <laughs> <laughs> or anyhow and has a laugh. Oh, bugger it and has a laugh. Anyhow and has a laugh. His sense of humor is still there. 
which is so important because that's going to be very healing for him. Mm. So if you've got someone in hospital, get the angels, Shamuel, to just fly before you and clear the energy path so that when you enter the space where your loved one is, you're coming in with a clearer energy, a more peaceful energy. And it will help you as well. It's certainly, I've learned a lot about that this last week, Lisa. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. That's wonderful. They're there to support you um, every step of the way, you and your father. Mm, that's the big thing to remember. It's every step. The steps sometimes feel very, very scary. But when we take each step, with the angels, those steps do become easier, I've found. Even when I'm absolutely out of my mind with, you know, fear. And I'm like, I was out of, just about out of my mind with fear. And the first thing I did was call the angels. Angels, oh, angels, I need you right now. Please help me feel more peaceful. Please help me. Take away those fear thoughts right now. I'm going to give them to you. Here, take them. Get rid of them. You know, and it's like that little drop of peace. <laughs> just kept drip, drip, dripping in until I went, mm. oh, yes. That feels so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Very fortunate to know about the angels and to work with them. I can't believe the whole hour is nearly gone by again, Lisa. Can I How just that mention happen? one final aspect? Can I just mention Please one do. final aspect of Chamuel in the last few minutes? And that is something that Chamuel is absolutely wonderful for helping you with. And that is to give you self-love, to help you rediscover your self-love. Uh, Archangel Shamuel, in his role as Angel of Divine Love, he's very, very helpful in that in that area. So if you don't feel like you love yourself, if you don't appreciate yourself as the perfect child of God, um, Creator or God, um, Shamuel will help you rediscover that within yourself. Beautifully said, Lisa, and a great reminder. It's important to take baby steps. Because how often do we feel like, oh, yeah, I've read that, I've read that book, Meditation, um, I should be right now. It's the baby steps it's that so are so empowering. Be, yeah, it's so easy to beat yourself up in that situation and say, oh, I must be doing something wrong. I must not be smart enough or good enough or worthwhile or deserving. And it's that's where Shamuel can help you too. He will help you cut yourself some slack, give yourself the love, compassion, and forgiveness that he can that he can offer, that he can extend as angel of divine love. He will help you give that to yourself as well. Don't beat yourself up because, oh, I've been doing this for however long and I'm still not where I think I should be. Well, be kinder to yourself. Love yourself like the angels do. It everything in perfect divine timing mm, everything in perfect divine timing and um, I feel like it's also important to mention if you are working in the healing field yourself and you're beating yourself up you really need to stop that you really need to let that go because when I say need I don't mean you should I mean if you could allow yourself to fulfill that need within you to let it go then it's going to really help you I just feel like someone named Pamela is listening I don't know um, Shamuel is also considered another really interesting fact and a good fact to know. Shamuel is considered in the Kabbalah to be one of the seraphim, which is the highest level of the choir of angels. So we're looking at really beautiful energies here. All the links for the Archangel series are on my website, angellight777.com. Lisa's website is feathersofanangel.com. And thanks so much for everyone's support and for listening and being here with us. It's wonderful for us. For, for, ba -da -ba -da. It's wonderful for us, Lisa, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yes, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, life is so good. Okay, everybody, lovely people, remember a little bit of kindness goes a long, long way. And the first place to lavish that kindness is on your Self. Please do join us again. You'll find all the links, and there are over 1,100 programs waiting for you at angelheartradio.com. Lots of love, everyone. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Bye. See you next week, everyone.
You've been listening to another fabulous program on Angel Heart Radio. Our goal is to remind you of how much you matter in the world and to let you know that we appreciate who you are in the world. You can check out who's on, when we're on, and who our guests are at angelheartradio.com. Everything is there. It's all just one click away. Angel Heart Radio programs are powerful tools to help you in your life and your life experience. They are not intended, nor should they, be used to replace your medical or legal advice. The views expressed by hosts, co-hosts, callers, guests and associates should not be construed as advice from Angel Heart Radio.